In this lesson, we will start to model this full face helmet to get an idea of how to use some of the advanced surfacing function in SolidWorks. There is nothing in this helmet that's this, the first thing you should recognize is that it's fully symmetrical, and so you only need to model half of it. But when you model half of something, you have to make sure that it's going to be smooth across the plane of symmetry. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at how this boundary surface was created. There are four sketches inside the boundary surface. If we turn off the head size, and helmet references, we can see that the first sketch is the back side of the helmet. The second sketch is the right side of the helmet. The third sketch is the front side of the helmet. Now notice that we're just completely modeling over the area where the opening exists. If we turn back on the helmet outline, you see that we have just modeled right over that. This is because we know we can just remove that later on. Making a surface like this in a single feature is the most desirable if you can do it. But we will take a look at a situation that may cause you some difficulties here shortly. The last sketch used in the boundary surface is a hoop that goes around the helmet and make sure that the boundary surface keeps its shape. It's also important to think about how the boundary surface was chosen for this particular task. The boundary surface is probably the most flexible of all the surfacing tools. It is also one of the most commonly used. Take a moment and open the SolidWorks part from your Infinite Skills Chapter 2 folder called Boundary Example. This is a single 3D sketch with several splines in it that I will just use to show an example of how the boundary surface can be used. There are several arrangements of curves that you can use with the boundary surface in order to create a shape. Boundary surface combines functions of the loft and the sweep. In direction 1, you can select one or several curves. In direction 2, you can select more curves that go in the opposite direction. But the direction 2 curves have to intersect direction 1. SolidWorks treats the curves in all directions equally. Let's take a look at how this can be used. For example, when working with several curves in a single 3D sketch, I have to use the Selection Manager. Selection Manager is commonly used in the boundary surface, the fill surface, and sometimes with sweep and loft. Selection Manager allows you to select single entities or closed loops. In this case, I'm going to pin the Selection Manager in place and I'll click on this curve and then right click to accept it. Now in direction two, I'll click this lower curve and right click to select that. 
Now, the boundary surface is essentially taking the purple curve and sweeping it along the blue curve. Purple's direction two, blue is direction one. But because all of these curves intersect, I can go back to blue and select another direction one curve, which alters the result slightly. I can also go to direction two and select another curve. If I want to control the far end, then go to direction one and select and OK. Now you'll notice that I've extended this one curve longer than the rest. Let's clear all the selections and start making picks again. In this case, I'll select this as a direction one, and in direction two, pick on this curve. I can select another direction two, being this curve, and the boundary feature continues on past the second curve. If you want to stop this feature at the second curve, even though your direction curve one is longer, you can say trim by direction two, or you can cancel out of the selection manager, at which point you'll get handles on the screen and you can pull back this pink handle to limit the extent of the boundary feature. You can do this in both directions and on any curve that you have selected in direction one or direction two. These handles are called connectors and they're very useful in correcting shapes and manually adjusting your selection lengths. So just keep in mind that the boundary surface can make use of a mesh of curves, but all of the curves have to intersect. The boundary surface can do a lot of other things as well when it is used with edges instead of sketches. And we'll take a look at that in one of the next lessons.